I'm out today shooting my Avenger 25 caliber. I've used this gun for squirrel, I've used it for uh, prairie dogs, and this trip I'm in, down in Texas, I'm going to take it out of for jackrabbit, which are a bit bigger. My shot's probably going to be in the 30 to 75 yard range, maybe spread out a little bit further. And uh, this gun is, I've got a lot of confidence in it based on my experience so far. I'm shooting something new out of it, at least new for me with this gun, uh, the Hades uh, 25. These 26.54 grain uh, hollow point, and it's a unique hollow point, it's kind of a cross hatch uh, in it, uh, are, um, are pretty impressive uh, from the limited experience I've had with them, and I really want to see how they're going to do. Again, stretching out maybe for some longer range stuff on a slightly bigger uh, quarry than I've used them for in the past. Uh, 25 calibers become my go-to in my small game guns, like 32. I don't think there's a, a real problem with having too much power in most instances. I mean, if you're shooting around a, a farm or a place that has a lot of buildings, equipment, um, you're worried about collateral damage, yeah, maybe maybe 25 is not the right one. But out in the kind of hunting I do, out in the uh, wide open for the most part, 25 and 30 is hard to beat for small game. Um, and uh, remember, if you, some people have been writing in some of my, uh, or posting in some of my uh, my videos saying, oh, that's way too much gun, I can kill them with the 177. Yeah, you can. Um, but the fact is, with a larger caliber, you're going to have a lot fewer um, hits that don't immediately place the animal on the ground. And, uh, you know, we're still dealing with uh, something uh, this gun with this is still far less than a 22 long rifle, so I just don't buy that whole argument. And I think uh, what I like about 25 is that out of a gun that puts out adequate power, flat shooting creates a good wound channel, hits hard, dumps a lot of energy on target, again with the right pellet. We'll see. I'm going to take these out hunting and we'll see how they go. Um, I was just uh, just shooting uh, really windy conditions here today, and you might be able to hear it over my microphone right now. I tried to muffle it, but it's blowing. Uh, sometimes the wind just breaks and it doesn't blow at all for a few minutes, and then it starts gusting again. Uh, so anyway, I, I'm targeting uh, this at uh, 50 yards. I shoot at 25 and 50. Um, that's kind of my base range, and uh, get familiar with it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I started my range session by loading up a magazine. This 8-shot magazine is easy to load and it's been very reliable. The wind was gusty, but in a lull, I shot my first 50-yard group. A quick shot at a rock to assess point of impact, and then I got started. The wind shifted to a direction directly at the target, and there was little drift. Like I said, the wind's been blowing, so my shots were all being blown about, oh, I don't know, four or five inches off target, so I, I put another dot to the to the left and uh, thought by aiming at that it put me right in the bullseye. The wind stopped, just died, so all my shots are right on that, uh, that red dot. And uh, then it started gusting again, so I shot another five-shot group just to show the difference between when the wind is blowing and when it isn't blowing. I'm using uh, the uh, the Bogpog uh, rifle clamp, uh, and I'm just holding it free in the back. So it's steady, but it's not really a bench rest, but it's still uh, uh, a very steady. I, I like this rest a lot. If you don't have one, you should think about getting one, uh, especially for sighting in. But you can put them on your shooting sticks, your your uh, your tripods, your bipods, uh, a lot of flexibility with them. Anyway, we're going to get the gun out and see what it does in the field. Let's go. I got on the road, cruising back deeper into the ranch. This landscape is dry and dotted with brush, lots of place for jackrabbits to hide. 
cactus flowers were in bloom, expected to see a few javelina around as well. And the rabbits were out. I started in for my first shot. But this big jackrabbit had other plans. Back to looking around, I spotted a jack at the base of a tree and scooted into a kneeling position. Shooting off sticks, I hit him with a heart lung shot. I picked up this rabbit for the cooler and moved on. Finding my next target, this one required a standing offhand shot. These Hades pellets have phenomenal terminal performance. Next the action came really fast as I walked into three rabbits at once. I got them all. some film for a minute and uh, back three. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Man, I tell you what, this gun has done it again and shooting the Hades, man, the thing is just a hammer. As I headed out, I had one more shot come up. The Air Venturi Avenger never stops impressing me. Accuracy, power, shootability, and an absolutely great price. And 25 is the perfect caliber for it when hunting small game, I think. The secret to hunting these jackrabbits is to see the rabbit before it sees you. Move slowly, stop often, and look for jackrabbits. Bed it down under brush or preparing to sneak away. What still amazes me is that for around 350 bucks you get a regulated side lever cocking tack driver of a hunting rifle. It has adjustable power and is exceedingly tunable.